Hey everybody, it's my Tyler here at Red Barn Productions, and today I'm going to do my best to show you how to set up a micro tick, uh, specifically the CRS1, 20, the, the CRS125 24G 1S 2H ND IN. And the reason I'm making the video is because when I ordered this and it came in. This is all I got. Just some safety uh, disclaimers and uh, a disclaimer of conformity, blah, blah, blah. That's it. So I'll go over to the website. It ain't much better. So I do what we all do. I went over to YouTube and I Googled it. And, and there were some videos up, but they were horrible. Either A, they were made in a third world country and, and had no audio telling you what to do it was just music playing or b they were made in another country and it was poor english or their accent was so heavy they were unintelligible and then add in the fact that it took them 50 minutes to tell you how to do something that takes five uh, while this may not be a really short video we're going to try to make it a lot shorter than what they did it won't be smooth and fancy but it, it'll get you through setting it up. And the first thing that you're going to have to do is come over here to uh, microtick.com. It's M I K R O T I K.com and download Winbox. That'll be under support or software. I'll share a link to it in the video description below. So let's go ahead and get that pulled up. When it comes up, normally instead of a MAC address, it's going to have something like 192.168.88.1. But whatever it is, it'll show up down here in the bottom. If it doesn't, if it looks like this when you first opened up, click right here where it says Neighbors and click Refresh, and it will show up. Click on it. Click Connect. Now, when it first comes up, it's going to have a, uh, a default configuration on it. Just close that window out. As a matter of fact, let me come over here. This is what you're going to do. Just close that window out that comes up. Just click OK. Close it out. Come down here to Systems. Uh, come down here to Reset Configuration. Click No Default Configuration. Then click Reset. Now, now when this happens, it's going to reboot. And... and uh, here we go and we'll have to wait for it to boot up it'll beep once then it'll cycle up and it'll beep again and I drink and I, I smoke and I cuss I'm not gonna hide it there's that second set of beeps and see, uh, it's coming up with my 192.168.01. Let's do that. Click refresh. See that right here where it says no, no, I, I, that's what we need to click on and click connect. Now, when you first connect to this, uh, I didn't mention it, but the, the default login is admin and there is no password. And when you reset it to defaults, that's the way it's, it is. We're going to click connect. Okay, it's come up. And it's kind of sort of created us a setup. But what we're going to do, we're going to click on wireless. And right here where it says uh, security profiles, we're going to click on that. We're going to click on the, the plus key, which is to add. And we're going to create a new security profile. And I'm going to call mine WPA2 underscore profile. And I'm pretty sure that most people name theirs the same thing. And I'm going to leave all that at default because I use all of it. And I'm going to put my password in. 
This is for my wireless now. This isn't for the network itself. It's for the Wi-Fi. And remember, it's going to have to be at least, what, eight characters long? See, it's going to reboot. I don't know why it does this right here, but it, it does. So we're going to go and bring it back up. We're going to have to start over again on that, that profile. If that happens, don't freak out. And this is where you're putting in your password so you can log on, on wirelessly. And both of these keys need to be the same. We're going to click apply and OK. And you'll see why we did this here in just a second. I'm going to come back over to wireless. We're going to click on Wi-Fi interfaces. And if you notice, it's in gray right this minute. We're going to click on that and bring that up. We're going to set that for an AP bridge. Uh, band, I'm going to set that for 2G, BG, and N. Channel width, I'm going to leave it default. And because I've already did a scan, which you would do that here if you wanted to, you would do frequency usage and start. And this is all the channels. Now, it looks like 2447 has the least amount of traffic. I'm going to click stop. And I'm going to set this at 2447. Right there. The scan list, I'm going to leave that at default. Wireless protocol, we're going to put that on 802.11. See right here where it says security profile. We're going to click on that and we are going to load up that new profile that we just created. Now, I personally do not use the w WPS mode because it's not like it actually has a button that you can push. It does somewhere on the top, but it's not like. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to disable it. I'm going to check all this. I'm going to click apply. And I'm going to click enable. Okay, I'm going to close that out. Now we're going to come over here to the quick set. Right up here on the, to the top. Let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. You can't actually see it, I don't think. Let me see if I can get it in there. Right there at the top left where it says Quick Set, we're going to click on that. And this window is going to come up. This is still for the wireless. We're going to name my wireless network. We're going to leave all this here. We've already set this. Uh, all the thing we got to do now is put on our network name. And where it says country, I'm in the United States. So I'm going to come all the way down here to the United States. And it gives you several options for the United States. But I'm going to put the United States. And, of course, my, uh, my Internet connects to Ethernet port 1. And that's kind of a default thing, so uh, I would recommend that y'all do that. It saves you a lot of trouble. I probably, I probably should have said that at the very beginning of the video. And I do not have a static IP. If you have a static IP, you would put it in right here. But I'm going to click Automatic. I'm going to put right here where it says my local network. I'm going to do 192.168.0.1. And I'm going to click bridge all LAN ports, DHCP server, NAT, and UPnP. And I'm also going to click renew right quick. 
I'm going to click apply and OK. And it's going to come do this. I'm going to click cancel right quick. And I'm going to click refresh. And I'm going to click connect again. Ah, it's going to give me an error. bear with me apparently I've just crashed my entire network well I've still got the computer going sometimes when that happens let's see if we can do it this way That is not a good sign. So, hold on. this rebooted you know like I said this is an actual setup this isn't a, uh, a lab don't get me wrong I've, uh, I do have a, a, a server going it's back in the closet behind me over here I'll bring that up over waiting for the uh, and Let's see where we are now. Let's see if that's back up and running. There we go. Sometimes uh, it's the uh, nature of the beast. And if you're wondering what happened, is it, it, it was giving me an error on reconnect, so I just unplugged the router, plugged it back in and rebooted it, and that's how I got past that little problem but let's come back over here and check our wireless because it's up and running but we want to make sure that we have it configured properly let's check my quick set and let's make sure that everything's in here let's correctly we didn't lose nothing there we go it did put in that uh, stuff We're going to click the apply and click OK. Now we're going to come down here to our where it says IP. We're going to click on IP. We're going to go to uh, DHCP client and we're going to check. See, it's already populating everything for you here. We're going to check everything. That's good. Uh, by the way, we've already got internet. But we're going to check everything. Uh, next, we're going to go to the DHCP server, which is on my bridge. And as you can see, it's populated that. It's all set up. We're going to click OK. And we're going to check IP one more time. Come to DNS. Now, one thing it didn't do is I've, I need to put, my, I've got my own uh, DNS server. So I'm going to put that in. click apply and click OK and because it needs to be done we're going to go over to clock we're going to click clock uh, 
I'm on Central Time here in the U.S. and it is daylight savings, so I'm gonna come find the appropriate time zone for me, and it gives you a huge selection. So uh, that would be America, Chicago, and I'm gonna click Apply and click OK, and now the clock, the clock, and everything else is all updated, and you can actually click on the dashboard and you can add the uptime memory CPU usage the date and the time all that so one more thing we're gonna come down here where it says identity and we're gonna click on that and because my local network is named red barn pro dot local that's what we're gonna name this And it would this would be whatever you want to name it and if you'll notice at the top of the screen up here at the very top it updated the minute I, I did that so come back to our interfaces let's blow this up you can see we're, we're up and running now and I'm gonna do some labeling now to save myself some trouble down the road I'm gonna add me some post-it notes uh, because Ethernet 1 is my internet gateway. And it's my uh, bridge. Let me go. I sincerely hope that this helps you get your routers going faster than I did when I got mine. Uh, I got mine Friday, and of course, uh, I fought with this most of Friday night and part of Saturday before I figured it out. I finally gave up on trying to watch the videos and stuff over on YouTube, and I just sat down and sorted through it till I got it up and going. Uh, anyway. This is Vitaly here at Red Barn Productions, and I hope y'all have an awesome week, and we're out of here.